gonna show you how to get a look that I get asked all the time how I did it. It is so easy. It just requires three eyeshadows, some eyeliner and mascara. Um, but everywhere I go, people tell me how pretty it is and oh my gosh, your eyeshadow is so gorgeous. How'd you do that? And it's just a really basic bronze smoky eye and I think it would look gorgeous on pretty much everybody. So if you want to know how to do it, keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start off by taking this color bronze by MAC. It's this really beautiful bronze color. It looks just like it's called. Um, I'm going to start off by taking that and patting it all over my lid. Okay. And I'm just going to pat this all over the lid and I'm not going to go above the crease. And just keep going back with your brush and dipping it in and just continue to pat. And you're going to have a pretty harsh line, but that's fine. And just drag it all along in there. And on the outer corners, just kind of barely work with it and bring it up a little bit higher than the rest of the lid right there. Okay, so you have like this sharp line, but that's okay. All right, now I'm going to take the shade Saddle by MAC. Mine has hit pan, so it's like running out. But it's just a really pretty warm brown. This color looks gorgeous on everybody. And I'm going to take a 217 brush by MAC right here. And I did my makeup earlier today, so it's got like some brown on it from then. And I'm just going to swirl it around in that color. Saddle. I'm going to take that and I'm going to blend this out. Now, once you have that shade Saddle on there, you kind of want to tap it like... Just kind of like wave it through the air and hit it on your hand and it'll get like the main portion of the powder pigments off of the tip of the brush so that when you go in, it won't be really thick and jagged. And you want to work on this outer crease at first and see how I don't have my brush turned like this because that would kind of slop it up and create another harsh line, which is what we're trying to get rid of right now. So I'm just continuing to go in this crease, bring it over here, but you want to stay deep down. You don't want to be up in this area. So we're just staying deep in that crease and then kind of turning it sideways now that we've got that portion blended out. And you're just moving in really smooth circular motions. And this brush is like a miracle worker. I could not do my makeup without it. I thank Mac for making this so much. Okay, so that's how that should look so far. So that's how it should look so far. It's still not smoothed out. It's got some harsh lines, but that's okay because that's what our 224 brush is for. Okay, now I'm going to take my 224 brush, which I use every single day of my life again. I'm going to dip it into soft brown. Just swirl it around in there and get a generous amount. And then just kind of tap off the excess again. And you'll see a bunch of powder like fly out in the air. And now I'm going to go over that right there. I'm going to stay in that same area. I'm not going above it. I'm staying right here. But because it's not as dense, it's going to fluff out that color. And just going over it in a rainbow motion. And this will just lightly brush it up. And remember not to go any higher than right here. You don't want to go up here like underneath the brow or anything. Stay low. To the window. To the wall. To the wall. To the sweat drop down. Okay, now it should look like this. And you don't have harsh lines anymore. You've defeated that with the 224 brush that we went in with. And you can just keep going until you feel like you've completely eliminated any lines that you don't want there. You think of smoky eyes, it comes from the word smoke. Smoke doesn't stay in one place, it doesn't have harsh lines, there's no beginning and there's no end to it. It's just like fluffy and in the air and that's what you want your smoky eyes to look like. So now that we've achieved that, um, I'm going to go back in with that first shade bronze on that exact same brush. And I'm just going to overlap what I already did in the first place and just push that all over the lid again. And you don't have to be precise with this, just get it on there just to bring that bronzy shimmer back. And now we'll go in with eyeliner. All right, I'm just going to line my eyes now. I use Black Track, it's a fluid line, it's a gel by MAC. It looks like this, it's just like goopy. Um, and I just use a little angle brush, the 208, right here. I'm going to make this line pretty thick because that's what's going to help us with that smoky look. Okay, so now that I have on my eyeliner, I'm going to take that shade that we put in our crease, Saddle, and I'm going to put it on a small little pencil brush like this. And I'm going to push it under my eye area. Mm -hmm. 
I'm not even looking at myself right now. I was just staring up at the ceiling. I was like, oh my gosh, I hope this is going okay. All right, so I'm gonna keep smudging this around. All right, like you just saw, it doesn't have to be like precise or anything. You just wanna get that color under there because then it'll give a really nice like smoky appearance. Okay, so now that we have that smoked out underneath, I'm gonna curl my lashes and go in with some mascara. Okay, so now the eyes are done, and you can leave it like that for like a uh, early evening or daytime look, but if you wanna like switch it into nighttime, all you're gonna wanna do is line your waterline with uh, an eye pencil. I'll line mine just to demonstrate. Um, my favorite is Smolder Eye Pencil by MAC. Nothing compares to it really, I mean, it's amazing. And you just wanna line it in here. so gross that you have to watch me do this to my eye. So you can see the difference between the drama of this eye and this eye. Ooh, fun. Ah. Okay. All right, so there your eyes are complete. Now let's zoom out and do the face really quick. All I'm gonna do is just take some bronzer and I'm just gonna go on my cheeks because the eyes are so bronze, I don't wanna do anything too intense to kind of take away from what we have going there. Um, so I'm just going to line the outer side of my face, staying by the hairline, bringing it down on the cheeks. This is gonna double as my blush. Okay, so to finish off the look, all you need is some nude lips. I'm using Hue by MAC. And there you go, your look is complete. Have fun!